All right, so let's learn how to make multiple screens in App Inventor. Now, the way I have this set up is with a couple of table arrangements. I've got one table arrangement here and one table arrangement here. This top one I'm going to call the home screen. I've already renamed that because I want the app user to come into this screen right here that includes all of these buttons and this header image right here. Now, we've already created an email form, so when I press this email button, I want this screen to show up and then I want this to go away. I still want this header image up here, although I could take that out if I wanted to as well. So as we get started learning this process, just understand that when we come into the app as a user, we're going to see this set of buttons here in this image and this is going to be invisible. It's not actually going to be on another screen, it's just going to be invisible to their eye. Now when they choose this email button, this section is going to become invisible and we'll see this section right here. And then they can either write their email message and send it or they can click the back button, at which case this will again become invisible and this will become visible. So essentially this back button is going to take us back to our home screen. Now I'm going to show you how to create multiple screens in two different videos here. So just remember that with our table arrangements, we can view them as screens. So I've named this top one here, home screen. And this bottom one here is going to be the email screen. So that when we go to our blocks editor, I know which screen is which. So let's go to our blocks editor. Now before I start telling our buttons what I want them to do, in this case when I click the email button, I want the email screen to show up, and when I press the back button, I want the home screen to show up, I'm going to create a definition called clear screen. And what clear screen is going to do for us is allow us to create an easy way to click a button, have the screen go completely blank, and then appear at the next screen. And if that doesn't make any sense to you right now, just hold on and when you see it, it'll make sense why we're going to create this clear screen procedure. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new definition. So I want to go to my built-in tab, click on definition, and I want to drag this procedure block out to the canvas. And not to be confused with the procedure with result block, they're two different things. So let's drag this out here. And right away I'm going to rename this to clear screen. The next step is to add each screen that I have in my app into the clear screen procedure. So I'm going to go to the My Blocks area and find my two screens. So the first screen I want to put in here is my home screen. I want to find the home screen visible block and I'll plug that in here. I'm going to find my next screen which is my email screen. Click on that and I'll grab my email screen visible block and I'll just put it right below home screen. What I need to do next is to go back to my built-in tab and I'm going to add a little bit of logic here. I'm going to click on the logic drawer and I'm going to find that I have true, false, not, and, or, and equals area. If I grab the false block and plug it in here, and I grab another false block and plug it into the email screen. Now I think you'll start to see what I'm talking about here. I've got a procedure called clear screen. So when I call up this procedure, it's going to do these things, which is make the home screen visible. No, that's false. Is the email screen visible? No, that's false as well. So you see when I call up clear screen, both of these just go blank. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use this clear screen procedure and attach it to what we want our buttons to do. And again, in this case, we want to clear the screen out after we've clicked that email button. And conversely, when we press the back button from the email screen, we want that screen to disappear and we want the home screen to become visible again.